All right, I'm going to do a Commodore 64 video. This is on this pretty hard to find item. It's a cartridge cracker. Uh, this is going to be two part. This is one way you can dump a cartridge on the disc. And the cool thing with this one, you get your close up. It has a port here to plug in your Commodore 64 cartridges and up here for your VIC-20. So it's pretty cool. Let's go plug this in and show it in action. Over here is one of my Commodore 64 work areas. Uh, you've seen it in, other my, in some of my other videos. Yeah, it was pretty messy, but that's nothing compared to the rest of the room. I got two rooms full of Commodore 64 stuff. So let's go and plug this in now and see how it looks. So this is plugged in to the back of the Commodore 64 now and you can see the VIC-20 cartridges just plugs in right there. But for this we're going to use, uh, let's uh, see about clowns. We'll plug this one in the back. Might need two hands for this. And let's turn on the Commodore. Okay, now this isn't just straightforward. You have to figure out which one of these toggles we're going to need. It's going to involve changing some of these uh, switches here and hitting the, res the reset. So, start off here. In the manual, there's a chart. You just go down through uh, these settings and hit reset. So, let's go ahead and do that. Once you have the right dip switches on, you'll know you have the right settings. There's this reset button here. And that's what I'm hitting after I change these sets here. And here we go. We got the game loaded. So now we just have to remember what we use. We have number four on and number seven on. Now let's go load the program. We turned all the we turned the computer off. We turned all these switches to off. Now we need to load the program. All right, we had to just reload that. So insert a copy disk so we gotta put in a blank disk got lots of those then we press F7 we're gonna name this clowns It says it's done. Let's go look at the directory on this disk. There it is, clowns. Well, you can see it dumped the cartridge. Uh, we can't load this cartridge back up unless we had um, like a RAM expander cartridge here. Uh, I don't have one. I don't have one. You can use the Vic. I'm pretty sure you can use the Vic one here. I have this is my RAM expansion cartridge, but it didn't work with this. So. This is works pretty easy for dumping cartridges. I think l loading them again is a little trickier. Let's go to um, part two of this video. I'm going to show you a different way to dump cartridges that we can reload them. So I'll put the link down below and check out uh, check out a different way to dump Commodore 64 cartridges in my next video.